I'm going to get my first bod pod. I'm kind of excited, a little nervous because I don't really know what my body fat is. So, here we go. Essentially, there's air vibrating back and forth uh -huh. that's sensing his body's volume. And then we divide his body's volume into his body's weight, which we just did, and that gives us his density. numbers we start out with a percentage of body fat fat free weight we do break these down into pounds as well um, what we're, we're going to end up doing with this is track and graph the change for you okay okay this person was was under eating so we were able to get her going in the right direction she was eating a magic 1200 calorie diet everybody wants to get on her resting metabolic rate was 1700 oh wow she was burning 2700 calories on the low active day so her under eating she gained four pounds of fat, lost one and a half pounds of muscle. Her trainer and I begged her to up that. She, she upped it to about 2,000 to 2,100. She lost 12 pounds of fat and added three pounds of muscle. So that under eating, this is great to show folks they're not getting enough calories. Um, so we do break these into the pounds of body fat for that tracking uh, process there. So we have pounds of fat mass, pounds of fat free weight, uh, body mass is your body weight, okay? No good or bad to the body volume, body density numbers. Uh, the body volume is what the bot pod reads. So your, this is your size of your body in liters. The body density, we basically don't want that to go backwards. Muscle is more dense than body fat. Um, the thoracic gas volume is an estimated lung size, so that essentially subtracts that out. Um, doesn't count it as volume. Um, 
this is where you are big picture in regards to your to your body fat levels to give you an idea and I just one of the trainers from the golds yesterday just walked out with it I, I had a thing from the NFL combines um, the linebackers the average rating for a linebacker is 12.8% okay. for the combine so I think it kind of puts these numbers more into perspective yeah um, because most folks aren't at that five you know, the bodybuilders aren't at five percent body fat they're just not um, your resting metabolic rate plus to 2,000 calories so you wake up lay in bed all day long and do nothing for 24 hours and you're already burning 2,000 calories basically the power of your body one thing we try to do is to tie all of this body composition change into the change in metabolism so working with you as a trainer as they're increasing that fat free weight the muscle mass this increases up which is you know, what we really want to tie it into this column right here, the total energy expenditures, how many calories you're burning given these activity levels. We define those right here on this page. Okay? Okay. So basically, um, days when you're active, we don't want you under eating. Days when you're sedentary, we don't want you over eating. Basically, what these numbers do, we're giving you enough energy that you can move forward, yet at the same time, a, a slight deficit so that your body is looking at more for that body fat. Okay. okay? This gets into that deficit, okay? So basically there's the 3,500 calories and the one pound of body fat. If you can operate at that 500 calorie deficit for each day of the week, that's your 3,500 calories. We prefer uh, for you and your clients that instead of just reducing the diet by 500, that you reduce it by 250, try to increase activity by 250 as well. So the main thing here is, you know, going on a, you know, on an active day, you know, you'd be close to 3,100 calories. So like calories. a leg, leg day or back day, I should jump my calories up to about 3,000. Probably. Well, and that's depending on what your goal is. Right. You know, these... To drop body fat, to continue to drop body fat. Correct. Okay. Correct. Because the key is you are absolutely able to gain muscle and lose fat at the same right. time. Um, so you want to give yourself enough calories to still gain or maintain the muscle, yet at the same time add that slight deficit so you're looking inward. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that you get, you know, a lot of folks say, well, how, how close can I get to my RMR and still go forward? The idea is how far can you go up without going backwards? That's really the way we want to do this. Um, the main thing that we're concerned about is this fat-free weight. We want to make sure with the next test it doesn't go down. That's, of course, your metabolic engine. So as the, as the, the muscle gains or maintains, you're maintaining or increasing your, your metabolism, you're getting to be more of a more efficient machine. Okay, so according to the I'm my current body fat percentage is at 15.2. Correct. All right. See that, guys? 15.2. Everybody underestimating, saying it at 10 percent, and all that. No. More than likely, you're a lot higher because I thought I was at 11. We do. We do bodybuilders. Um, I do the MPC shows. I did the York Cup. I've done a fair amount of the bodybuilding shows. I have never had one of the male bodybuilders below 5 percent, which is Thank considered you. risky for the men. The females will actually get to seven and a half, which is the equivalent. Only two and a half right, men. Right. Um, the men, for the most part, I've never tested anyone at the show, the day of the show, below six percent. How many people have you tested? Do you believe? At the, at the shows, you mean? No, just or yeah, total? Body, bodybuilders and shows, fitness models. Uh, probably done a couple hundred tests. Okay, so he knows what he's talking about. A couple guys. hundred tests. I mean, I've got the chairman of the MPC who just won uh, nationals, right. 2010 nationals. Uh, a girl named Herculeza, who just won the, the heavyweight at the Yorton Cup. She's at 7.5%. Um, and then there's another girl that won the lightweight who we test as well. So we're, we really, now with them almost, I got to, you know, it's almost like I'm going to put a limitation. Right. Because they micromanage it. They want to make sure they're getting enough calories, enough yeah, calories. Yeah, that's all I was about to speak to you about that. All right, well, all right, buddy. So gonna, I'm going to go ahead and work through these numbers again. And um, you're going to check the next video. We'll come back and see what our results probably with next month, two months from now. Generally three months. Three months. Yeah, give three you enough months. time to see positive change, but if you're going backwards, we don't want you going back too far. So once again, this is Matt.